confusion and turmoil and constant change in medical examination system, our mind needs to settle somewhere. At the end of the day, we are the zeal to calm your nerves and here for you to make you reach the zenith of success. A very good evening, everyone. I'm Shweta Daukar, new news editor for Inflame magazine, a magazine which is led by a clan of UG medicals all across the country. Today, we feel very privileged to introduce Dr. Venkatesh Karthikeyan on our podcast. Sir is an alumnus of Bellamal Medical College. He is currently pursuing MD in Community Medicine in Ames, Patna. He currently holds state and national positions in reputed associations. He was former student wing president of UNESCO chair in bioethics. Sir has conducted multiple awareness programs on menstrual hygiene and other public health issues. Cherry on top, Sir is a buddy, budding YouTuber. Last but not the least, he has also played a role in co-vaccine trials and was awarded by the Honorable Union Minister for the same. Sir, you, are, you have highly achieved. You are an inspiration. We are very grateful to have you here with, our, with us today. And we are sure you will help clear the minds of our viewers. Welcome on board, board sir. How are you? Hi, uh, good evening. Good evening for the warm introduction. Uh, I'm doing fine. Hope you're doing fine too. Sir, our viewers want to know the answers for a few questions. The first one being, there is postponement of NEET PG 2021 and INICET 2021. Now there are rumors all over the internet of NEET PG to be commencing in August 2021 and INICET to be commencing in uh, September. Are these rumors true? And what are you, your views on the same? Uh, yeah, this is so true. This question is uh, pestering the minds of many students who have been preparing for a long time. Uh, there are people who are studying for years together for this exam. And uh, the announcement from government today gives us hint that need PG will be further postponed. And uh, the reason for the postponement is, as we know, the COVID situation. So this is going to be the same reason for the postponement of INICET also. So we can comfortably assume that need PG and INICT is going to be postponed. It's not going to be in the next uh, couple of weeks. But when it is going to be conducted, will probably be revealed in the next couple of days, maybe even tomorrow. Thank you, sir. This is a very satisfactory answer. Uh, moving on to INICT, could you give our audience a brief idea about the nature of this examination? Yeah. See, uh, I basically don't find uh, much of a difference when it comes to the preparation part. Uh, the preparation for NEPG and INICT was essentially the same, at least with my case. So it's the it's going to be the 19 subjects uh, the same 19 subjects in both the examinations but the duration is definitely a bit less in uh, INICT and the number of questions also is less so overall the number of uh, time the number of uh, seconds available for each question in INICT is a bit more than that available for NEET PG but the questions in INICT will be a long one uh, it will be more a clinical scenario kind of thing Hence, it, uh, it will consume more of your time and people find it difficult to, to complete the uh, uh, INICT examination within the stipulated time. So this is about the timings and marks. Uh, so coming about the uh, way of preparation, this INICT is more towards clinical based than that, uh, than which compared to NEET PG. NEET PG gives more importance uh, to clinicals, but it also gives uh, enough significance to pre and paraclinical subjects. But AIMS is going to be giving you, uh, the Sinai CT is giving you more importance to the uh, clinical subjects and even the pre-paraclinical subjects uh, will be asked in a clinical scenario. So you should be having a, a well, uh, what to say, concept-based learning. You should know how to apply things and you should be uh, quick enough to read the entire question. Uh, even seven to eight lines questions, you should be able to read, grasp the key points there and mark the answer. So INICT is quite demanding, it is interesting, and it's not uh, not very tough one to do. So this is the uh, basic difference when it comes to uh, preparation. Apart from that, uh, I think there is uh, no uh, much of a difference between these two examinations. So definitely the take home message is it is clinically oriented and that, that we have to be very strong with the clinical subjects, right? Yes, exactly, exactly. Yes. Thank you, sir. Uh, also, sir, a lot of people have doubts as to how INICT differs from the previous exam patterns of AIMS, PG, PGI, JIPMER, and NIMHANS. Okay. So, uh, actually, I'm the uh, first batch of INICT giving uh, students. Uh, 
Uh, so I have been going through few questions of a uh, few question papers of PGI, Jipmer, Nimans and all. First of all, I am very happy because government is uh, taking such an initiative of clubbing all these examinations together. Uh, I will say the advantage in each and every uh, step. First of all, uh, getting to know about when is the examination. See, uh, if you have different exams for different central institutes, every time you should be checking the different websites uh, for each of the institutes. And then the application process is different. The, uh, uh, you should be paying money for uh, each examination. You should go to a different city. A lot of logistics, a lot of time, a lot of energy is being saved. Also, uh, coming to the uh, counseling process, coming to all the formalities, it's quite hectic. If I am uh, given a, if I am asked to write exams in different institutes, and because of this reason, many students who are not that confident about taking seats in central institutes, they simply don't give exams like uh, PGI different at all because of this reason. And coming to preparation also, uh, the questions will be different for different examination. If, for example, in in, in them hands more importance will be given to neurology, neuroanatomy, psychiatry, and all these kinds of topics. Whereas in JIPMA, it will be uh, monoclonal antibodies, recent advances, those kinds will be in uh, JIPMA. So just bringing it under all, all under one roof called INICT, which is nothing but Institute of, uh, Institute of National Importance Common Entrance Test. So bringing this under the roof of INICT has made the life of all the PG aspirants very easier one. Uh, some might be hesitant that uh, they're not prepared or why should they uh, appear for uh, PGA? Why should they go to Chandigarh? See, even I'm from Tamil Nadu. If I need to give the exam, then I need to travel extensively. Uh, so I need to travel to the North India for PGI. I need to travel to a different city or state for uh, giving my GPA exam. And all these logistical problems, all the unnecessary hassle and stress has been reduced by bringing this under uh, one examination. So uh, at, at the same time, this is a standardized examination. The qual quality is not compromised and the opportunity is also increased because uh, on an aggregate, the total number of seats have increased because of clubbing these examinations. And uh, this is definitely a welcome move and we should uh, make the best out of it. Yes, absolutely, sir. Uh, moving on to the next question. Another issue the NEET PG aspirants are worried about is the possibility of NEET PG 2021 being merged with INICT. What would you like to say about this? Yeah, so I would not deny the possibility of such an event, but uh, we, we really don't know. We need to wait. We need to wait for the official announcement because any kind of discussions like these are just going to lead on to uh, speculations and worry in the minds of students. Let's not uh, put them into, uh, into further pressure. Let's leave it to the government. Nothing is uh, true until it comes from the uh, NDE or INICT exam management coach. So let's leave it to the government and let them take the decision. Uh, we be not be uh, bothered about this. Yes, absolutely, sir. There's no point in firing unnecessary speculations. Yes, absolutely. Um, so my next question to you is regarding NEXT. Could you tell our audience what NEXT is and how it differs from NEET PG again? Okay. So yes. NEXT is nothing but a national exit exam. Uh, it is an exam proposed by the uh, NMC, National Medical Commission, and uh, it's established in 2019 as a replacement for MCA, Medical Council of India. Uh, first of all, I'd like to give a disclaimer here. The rules and regulations of these next examinations, the pattern, how it is going to be conducted, it's not so clear. It's just a basic proposal which has come up on the pattern. Everything is being uh, speculations and they are just proposed to the government. Official notification is yet to be uh, given regarding these things. So what I'm going to say in the next few minutes it's not, uh, it's not from my, uh, what to say, it is not on behalf of any organizations or associations that I'm affiliated with. This is just my personal views, which I have, uh, uh, which is gained based out of extensive reading through the internet and observing things over the past few years. So coming to next examination, as I said, is the national exit examination. It is, uh, it is basically serving three purposes. First purpose is to replace the NEET PG examination. So it is going to determine whether you're going to get a seat in a government or private medical college for post-graduation. Second purpose is to abolish the foreign medical graduate examinations. So those MBBS students who are studying abroad, if they need to come into India and practice, this next exam is going to serve as a licentiate exam. And third one, this could possibly replace the final year MBBS exams also. This is the implications, this is the purpose of this next exam. And this next exam, the coming to the structure of next exam, uh, possibly 
it is going to have two parts next one and next two coming to next one it is going to be a mcq based examination so it unlike the neat pg or inict which is a single day examination being conducted in three, three to three and a half hours this uh, next one is going to be a three day long examination so it will be an mcq based examination and uh, on day one we will possibly have medicine and allied subjects in the forenoon pediatrics in the afternoon on the second day we will have surgery and allied in the forenoon ent in the afternoon on the third day we will have obstetrics and gynecology in the forenoon and ophthalmology in the afternoon afternoon so this is the proposed uh, pattern of conducting the exam but this is it to be confirmed so when this next one exam is uh, completed we are going to enter into internship uh, and also our post graduation seat is going to be determined by our next one mark so simply saying next one is going to be a qualifying examination as well as a competitive examination i am calling it qualifying examination because whether you are going to go into internship or not is being decided by this next one and the, whether you are going and i am calling this competitive examination because the seat you are going to take is going to be dependent on how much a good how good marks you score in this examination so next one is going to be a competitive as well as a qualifying examination and this will be given at the end of final year mbbs which will be regulated by the uh, central government once a student completes this final year examination he is giving next he is clearing the next he is eligible to go into internship at the end of internship the universities uh, will be conducting their respective universities will be conducting practical examination which is just a qualifying exam so if you pass you get out you get your mbbs degree if you don't get pass then you write the examination again so next one is qualifying as well as competitive whereas next two is uh, only qualifying so this is the uh, basic structure and again after this next two you are getting into pg and that is going to be dependent on your next one mark and it has nothing to do with your next two so this is the basic structure which is proposed as of now but as said earlier this is subjected to approval and we should wait for the wait for the official yes absolutely sir i appreciate how well you explained this whole process so moving on uh on the same note sir we would like to know if admissions to aims for pg will be affected because of next see uh, we actually don't know uh, there's there's good chances that all these examinations might be brought under uh, one roof like um since uh, just just this year we suddenly for my batch they suddenly told that they are going to club uh, aims pg i jipmer and imhans and this is going this might be the case even this year also so they might uh, club these four exams along with the main neat exam also so they might quote the uh, delay in conduction of these both exams and they might club the exams also so we need to wait and watch uh, but i think that is not going to make much of a difference and it's uh, in a in a way it is good that our energy is saved and we don't waste a lot of time we can actually focus on what is important that is we can focus on our preparation rather than spending time around all these application process all these all these things which are not uh, academically so academically not so productive so i think if if it is going to be club if neat and uh, inct is going to be club it's again a welcome move a uh, welcome move uh, in my personal opinion okay so i think students should take it very positively right sir so uh, exactly. moving on to the next a lot of mbbs students of 2016 and 2015 batch are worried about the implications of next what would you like to tell them they are worried about the implications yes, basically yes even uh, even i am not sure even may I, actually none of them in, uh, in this country are sure what are the implications for these students because the 2015 batch mbbs students they will be giving their uh, neat examination and inict examination this year and what if they don't qualify what if they don't get their dream branch and uh, if uh, i mean as of now 2017 batch will be writing the first batch of uh, next examination and if this 2016 2015 batch is not taking a uh, neat pg seat now what is their fate uh, we actually don't know but we can be pretty sure that government is not going to uh, just neglect this uh, class of uh, like they're not going to neglect one one or two years of uh, mbbs batches just like this there will be an alternate mechanism and possibly they might be included under the same umbrella of next also so we need to wait again uh, to see what is going to happen yes sir absolutely you 
that's totally right uh, moving on to the last question another question that has been asked by our viewers is that what are the options for 2015 batch mbbs students if they don't get a rank in neat pg 2021 will they sit for neat pg 2022 or next pg 2022 i think you have pretty much answered I, it in the previous yes i understand that uh, you are asking this question again and again it just reflects that uh, the question this is building up a lot of anxiety among uh, 15 batch students essentially the subjects you have studied is the same the 19 subjects are the same maybe the marks distribution might vary but don't worry government is not going to say that this whole 2015 batch was not taken seat or 2014 13 and 12 all the old batches or uh, they are not eligible for pg government is not going going to do that so don't be worried just focus on your preparation let the government answer these questions yes uh, so that's all uh, for the questions from our side and sir thank you so much for answering them amazingly and so patiently thank you for spending your time with us and thank you thanks a lot thank you thank you so much yes. all the best for those who are preparing one thing i would like to say is that for students like me who have uh, done mbbs from 2014 or earlier they had the luxury of uh, taking how much ever time they want to get into pg so if i have not taken seat in aims now i would sit for another year or another 2 3 years to get the seat which i want to get in the institute i want but that luxury will not be there for you people so start studying right from the beginning you have a lot of good resources available both online and offline so make the best out of it and uh, get yourself prepared yes sir absolutely thank you thank you sir yeah bye